was off on another crazy adventure. I decided on a whim a couple of days before to book a ticket to Scotland and hike the West Highland Way. I'm on the first train, left at uh, quarter past eight this morning and I'm on the way to Edinburgh and the scenery is beautiful and then when I get to Edinburgh um, I change it on to Glasgow and then get the final one up to the town that I cannot pronounce but I will find out what it's called when I get there. As soon as I got to the station I asked how to pronounce the name of the place and it's actually pronounced Mulgai. So I picked up a couple of last bits in town and found the start of the trail. Okay, I'm on the trail. Um, I've only got four miles to go today to get to the first campsite, which is the West Highland Way campsite. Uh, long train journey, over six hours. Um, got up at six o'clock this morning as well, so it's been a bit of a long day so far. But yeah, feeling good. And it's just started to rain, so yay! You'll see these posts all the way along the trail with the official logo of the West Highland Way. It was really easy to follow and I didn't need a map at all. Getting a little bit wet, but it's really pretty here. The first four miles on the way to the West Highland Way campsite were really easy going, very flat ground and some very pretty scenery. description below I'll leave all the details for the different campsites that I stayed in. Um, I decided to bring a pop-up tent along with me just because it'll be easy to set up I thought I'd make it nice and quick. Uh, the one I used was a high peak campo tent which I bought um, online for about 30 quid so I'm going to check it out this is the first time I've ever used it. Boom! Took me just four minutes to set it up. Now I'm going to see how I cope camping alone in the dark. Ah! I survived the night on my own. Woohoo! And the campsite let me use the inside bathroom and shower, which is a nice little touch. Good morning. Okay, I'm now on day two. Well, technically day one. Yesterday was a travel day. Um, just a few funny things that happened to me last night. Uh, well, I stayed at um, the West Highland Way campsite. So I did the first four miles straight off the train. Um, makes today a little bit shorter. Um, had a proper storm last night. Uh, the tent was all wet inside. I had a frog in my tent at one point, which was hilarious. Uh, but I survived and I coped in the dark and it was okay. Um, I was proud of myself. Um, so today I've just had to do the first mile along kind of a main road which I really don't like so that's why I haven't filmed until now uh, but now I'm back on the public footpath and uh, ready to go so far so good the path up till now has been quite flat and I've got my umbrella so I'm keeping relatively dry so happy days relentless today but never mind I am soldiering on and um, a lot of the path is majorly flooded though uh, so I'm getting a little bit wet I have got waterproof hiking boots on but um, I mean some of it's really deep so but anyway I am still in high spirits at the moment and uh, I'm gonna crack on Hi. exactly one minute after filming that a big gust of wind came and broke my umbrella just passed a sign saying there's two and a half miles left to go uh, till I hit the town. I've just stopped for a little break. Um, I passed the campsite uh, not long past. Uh, got about a mile and a half to go, but it's all uphill and I am dying. So I'm gonna stop, have a quick sig, and then crack on. Now unfortunately when I got to Dryman campsite it was already fully booked. Uh, due to Covid they're only taking on a limited number of uh, campers 
but I did see a leaflet for a little hostel in town called Kip in the Kirk, uh, which ended up being really handy. I got to dry my tent out outside and uh, they put the radiators on for me so I could dry out all my clothes and get a good night's sleep. Breakfast was included in the price and on the wall there was some handy information about the route and next to it, a map with pins from everybody that stayed in the hostel doing the West Highland Way from all over the world. Now I wasn't going to take any chances for tomorrow, unfortunately I'd forgotten my backpack rain cover um, so I had to repack my bag in a different way making sure everything was in waterproof bags so it wouldn't all get piss wet through again. Good morning! Okay, guess what? It's not raining! It's a miracle! Um, after I did all that work to make sure everything was going to stay dry but more than likely it'll probably rain in a bit anyway so at least I'm covered. Um, now today I'm just leaving Dryman and I'm heading to Milarochi campsite. I think that's how you say that, I'm not sure and that's um, by Loch Lomond. Um, I tried to get into another one slightly further up but they were fully booked so just be aware if you are planning to do this don't do what I did and just go last minute um, try and book your campsites in advance because up to a certain point you're not allowed to wild camp you have to book campsites or other accommodation um, yeah so I'm going to try and make it to there apparently there's a big bastard of a hill uh, that I've got to get over just before then so uh, we'll see how it goes now another quick tip don't be silly like me and overpack your bag. My bag ended up weighing well over the recommended weight for my body frame and I really started to feel it after a few miles. Still doing okay this morning. Uh, weather has still held out, which is amazing. Um, I can see a big lock, so I think that's where I'm heading. And also I've just seen a massive hill and I think that could possibly be the one that I've got to climb today. Yay! Now I've got a choice. I've just come to a signpost saying that I can get to my destination over the hill, <laughs> which is gonna take three and three quarter miles, or um, I can go around the hill, uh, which is going to take two and a half miles. But I came to do this properly, and apparently the views are spectacular, so I'm going to do the hill. <laughs> Please, I hope I'm not going to regret this decision. Wish me luck. Pray for me. I was so lucky the weather had held out today. I was getting some really beautiful views, and little did I know that halfway up Conic Hill, I would encounter my nemesis. I am absolutely terrified of cows and these ones had some big bloody horns. I was absolutely petrified, they were right on the path. I think I'm halfway up, I'm dying, I'm not sure if this was a wise idea. But then I reached the top and it was all worthwhile, just look at that and guess what? More cows! What a happy day! I'm happy to report I didn't get chased by any of the cows. Uh, luckily the cows in Scotland seem a lot more chilled out than the ones in England. And after a thousand million trillion stairs and steps down the side of the hill, I made it into the town and started on the uh, little footpath over to my campsite. I made it to the campsite um, and yes, <laughs> I've got my midge net on because it is swarming. Um, so yeah, I've made use of <laughs> this little purchase that I got in at Mulgai. Um, also, uh, I used my hiking poles for the first time. I needed them pretty much most of the day from the hill onwards. And um, there's some really, really steep bits. But yeah, um, it's a lovely little campsite and um, 
I'm absolutely shattered. I think I'm going to get changed, maybe get something to eat in a bit. Another new piece of equipment I was testing out for the first time was this tiny little army stove. Ended up being really simple. You just light one of the solid fuel tablets and I was, there we go, boiling water, making my little mug shot, having a lovely time with my pasta. Very easy and simple to use. Uh, after tea, it was time to get back in my sleeping bag and get some sleep for the night. Morning campers, rise and shine. It was time for the next leg of my journey. So I got up, had my shower, packed down and got ready to go. Good morning. I survived another night camping and I'm on my way. Now this is going to be the hardest day for me. It's the longest day uh, with the most mileage. Um, I've got 20 miles to cover. <laughs> Whether or not I do it, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, I'm about not even a quarter of the way yet. But I'm feeling optimistic. I'm going to go for it. Got a couple of little injuries, uh, blisters on both my heels, a uh, trap nerve in my shoulder. But I am soldiering on. I'm going to do this. <laughs> It's half past 11 and I've only managed to do a quarter of the route so far. Uh, it's very steep today, um, you're definitely going to need your hiking poles. Uh, all through the forest it's beautiful but really really steep inclines and um, yeah it's taken a lot longer than what I thought it would. A um, little bit worried that I'm not going to make it to the campsite but I'll just have to wild camp if not and uh, pray I can find somewhere to get some food and top up my water. Now this sign means I have left the camping management zone, so I'm free to wild camp if I so choose. It's quarter past one, not even halfway. Um, today definitely is the most difficult route so far. Uh, it's really tricky. Um, glad I've got my hiking poles although one of my hiking poles is broken and it won't um, pull out properly so I've got one and a half hiking poles which is hilarious <laughs> this was definitely one of the most tricky parts of the trail so far to do with uh, a backpack of this size um, I was really thrown off balance there's lots of uh, clambering over stones and climbing under tree branches <laughs> Well, I've stopped for a break in this lovely little hut <laughs> in the woods. It's a bit scary, it's a bit like cabin in the woods. I did consider staying in it uh, for a brief moment, then I thought, nah, I'd shit my pants. So <laughs> I'm just going to take a little breather, then I'm going to press on. Still not even halfway yet, definitely not going to make it to the campsite, it is absolutely chucking it down. Uh, there's another one of these six miles away. I'm going to aim to try and make it to that one. <laughs> but we shall see. Everything hurts. My feet hurt, my shoulder is killing, I've trapped a nerve and it's absolutely killing. Um, one of my hiking poles is completely broken now. It was um, just a little bit broken now, it's 100% broken. So yeah, day's going really well so far. I hiked on for another mile or so and I came to the beautiful town of Inversnade. Unfortunately, the hotel there was closed, which was a shame because I really was gagging for a pint of Guinness. Uh, so I kept hiking for another mile and found a really gorgeous spot where I could just pitch up my tent and wild camp for the night.
rise and shine. It is a new day, time to tackle the next section of the room. Well, I survived my first wild camping experience. In fact, it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Although I woke up looking a bit like Gollum, got big swollen eyes. Uh, it was very cold last night and I feel a little bit dehydrated, but I need to top up on my water supply. Um, yeah, so here we go, we're gonna crack on. We're gonna try and get to um, the Drovers Inn because I'm gagging for a pint. Um, so that's my mission today. And then if possible, a little bit further on to get to a supermarket in the next town. But uh, we'll see, yay. Once again, the path that leads around the lock to the next town was pretty demanding, uh, lots of scrambling about, but luckily the weather had held out for me. It was staying nice and dry. So a little while after passing this creaky skull in the woods, um, I came to a clearing and to the next hut. I think it's called Dune, Dune Bothy. I've probably pronounced that wrong. Please, if I have, let me know in the comments. But look at that view. Absolutely beautiful. Well, the sun has come out finally and the views are stunning. It makes <laughs> all that hard work worthwhile. pressed on because I wanted to reach the campsite I was supposed to stay in last night by lunchtime. I'd heard they'd done a wicked curry and they did not disappoint. Lovely pint of Guinness and Black there, nice little curry and I was ready to go again. The next section leading up to Tindrum, a uh, nice easy path although a lot of it is uphill and some parts are very steep. Unfortunately, I didn't get as much footage as I would have liked to on this section because my battery died on my phone, which was a bit annoying, but still, you can see how beautiful it is. So I made it to Tindrum, but then unfortunately I had a little bit of bad news. Um, severe weather warnings for the next two days due to Storm Francis. God damn it! Uh, I didn't really fancy camping and hiking in a storm like that, so I made the sensible decision to come home and go back in two weeks and finish off the hike then, the second half of the hike. I was on a bit of a time limit, I couldn't afford to take any rest days because I wanted to be back for this weekend for my dad's birthday, yay! And of course, got new hair, new hair, don't care, I've gone all ginger. Um, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, um, Drunk on Wonderlust, and of course, give this video a like if you've enjoyed it, and our second half will be coming soon. Thanks for watching.